Hypixel Bed Wars, a notorious game mode played by thousands on a daily basis. Since its month of release in January of 2017, the game mode has held a consistent number of players and has been home to many different content creators alongside many different ideas. A game that includes such a vast number of content creators is bound to have people follow who want to ruin the experience for others. Those people have a name, Stream Snipers, and this is the rise and fall of Hypixel's largest sniper group, Hypixel SS. Hypixel SS began with two players who were once infamously recognized across the network, Charlie and Zach. Charlie was an individual who wished at one point to be a part of the Hypixel staff team, and Zach was ironically a very skilled player that participated in many ranked Bedwars tournaments. Neither Charlie nor Zach ever saw any form of large success on the YouTube channels that they created over the years. However, this led them to turn to other illegitimate methods in an attempt to gain fame. Charlie was a good friend of Manthe's, the owner of the vape hack line, and this formed the original idea. Charlie and Zach decided that they'd use this connection and snipe YouTubers and streamers Bedwars games obviously while cheating with the vape hack client. They in turn advertised the client to their slowly growing viewer base and it was rumoured that Manthe was providing them with payment for their endorsement. Three other members joined forces with Charlie and Zach, Hevex, Moof and JC. The group of them sparked the inevitable creation of the Hypixel SS YouTube channel and on the 17th of February 2021, they posted their first video, Sniping and Trolling Sammy Green. The video rapidly caught the attention of many members of the Hypixel community and many mixed opinions were shared in the comments, some members expressing their disapproval for this type of content, whereas others were vastly entertained with this new style. Regardless, this provided Hypixel SS with exactly what they wanted, popularity. If it be negative or positive, individuals on all ends of the community were talking about Hypixel SS, the new insane sniper group that was here to torment the Bedwars YouTubers. Sammy Green was not the only YouTuber who encountered Hypixel SS. Another popular streamer, Hannah XX Rose, was also sniped, but unlike Sammy Green, Hannah chose to take matters into her own hands and began striking down the videos that Hypixel SS posted sniping her. This angered many of Hypixel SS's fans and they began to involve themselves within the situation, doxing Hannah, harassing her, her discord server and so on. Charlie and Zach continued to irritate Hannah, repeatedly sniping her, nicknaming her and generally causing havoc wherever she went. This went on for weeks on end, gaining Hypixel SS fame and attention but at the cost of Hannah's annoyance. To follow up this situation, commentary channels such as Six Striker and Laser Penguin made videos discussing Hypixel SS, but the pair of them shared very different standpoints. While Six Striker went on to say, things and honestly, it's very crazy the kind of content he makes, and it's kind of hilarious because a lot of people do support and watch a lot of videos. Laser Penguin took a much more neutral approach and even interviewed Charlie. Now I'm here to just interview him, I'm not here to tell you how to feel or think you can hate him, you can love him, I don't really care. You form your own opinion, that's the point of this interview, to give a different perspective. Has any of your content that you've made involving the Hypixel SS group taken a mental toll on you or has it backfired in any way? Um, honestly, I think I'm going to be the outlier here, but as a creator, I think I'm one of the few that the Hypixel SS community like is a fan of. But this wasn't the end of commentary channels being involved in the situation. Sarcastic remarks were made regularly about Six Striker in Hypixel SS's videos, and their fans even went on to dock Six Striker due to his lack of support. In comparison, Laser Penguin, due to this interview, was able to build a somewhat friendly relationship with the Hypixel SS audience, and he was left unharmed. A friend of LEGO Maestro's called Namebrand, who also made Hypixel news content, didn't hold back his opinions when he covered Hypixel SS in his video. For the purpose of this video, I interviewed Namebrand, so he'd be able to explain his exact involvement and how we dealt with them. So, how were you involved with Hypixel SS? I'm aware they doxed you and harassed you, and you were very against them. But then, at a later point, you were seen advertising the vape client alongside them. What happened for you to make that sudden switch, and how did it affect you and your audience? You know, I was kind of, I was fed up with doing the Hypixel news at that point anyways. Um, you know, we, we used to have a few Hypixel SS and I back when I was doing Hypixel news. 
Um, obviously that has since changed, you know, but if I was doing the high pixel news, I felt like, you know, I couldn't support something like that. Um, when in reality, like off camera, you know, off recording, I really didn't care. Um, so, you know, when my time came and I decided I was quitting the news, um, high pixel SS actually reached out and offered me a vape partnership and they you know they told me how much they were going to pay me kind of how things went down you know on their side of things because you know they were already currently doing it and you know, agreed to do it and ever since then we kind of you know labs kind of i would say trolled the internet like deep fake and me getting hacked things so uh, it's a good time obviously i assume you kind of disclose like well i mean you can you said that they were paying you for you like endorsing vape correct yeah yeah they were paying me understood okay and was there any other reason like if it wasn't for the money would you have switched regardless if they would just came to you and said would you like to be a part of this or would you say you just did it for the you know financial side of things um i mean i would say it was definitely a mix of both i would say more so on the financial side of things than anything but i mean at the end of the day i kind of got to know them and they really were just a bunch of trolls on the internet that that were funny you know i mean i thought most of the stuff that they did was funny so other YouTubers in the community also became targets of Hypixel SS. One night, when the YouTuber Tryhard was streaming Bed Wars, he was sniped by the group. Knowing what had happened after he was sniped, Tryhard deleted his stream VOD. However, it was too late. Hypixel SS somehow obtained his footage and then created false subtitles in a possible attempt to ruin Tryhard's reputation. Tryhard later made a video in response to this in which he said the following. I want to say these guys, I don't have a problem with their content at all. The stream sniping part of it is like good content you know stream sniping streamers youtubers whatever that right there i don't have an issue with at all i think it's fine i think it's funny content too even them cheating against and like stream sniping and cheating like it's whatever like you know it's it's, it's it's not really a big deal the only thing that i have an issue with is them fabricating stuff and like slandering content creators me included for literally no reason at all i'm gonna show you what they did in this video that some stupid people choose to believe like they're actually idiots people don't do their research they don't think it's super annoying but that's what i'm gonna talk about in this video let me give you some context. I spoke with Tryhard to see how he dealt with his side of the situation. Okay, so I mean, I see a lot of YouTubers that have been uploading videos about the situation. They're all saying like, oh, Tryhard responded in a bad way or Tryhard made a mistake responding to them and all that stuff. But yeah. like they, they don't really know the full context behind the situation or what happened even after the videos or what I was trying to do even recording those like. Not a lot of people asked me, so they uploaded their video stream sniping me and in there they put captions saying I was slurring during it, like saying these words, whatever. And honestly, it would not have bugged me, but people actually believed it. Like some of my audience believed it. They, were, they said, oh, you imagine being homophobic over a Bedwars game, this and that. And then they said I deleted the, also a lot of people were saying I deleted the VOD because of them sniping me, but at the time I didn't know who they were. So I, I, that was not the reason I deleted the VOD back then. Back then I just usually delete any VODs that I have on Twitch most of the time. Something like after stream, sometimes I deleted, sometimes I wouldn't. Anyways, I responded with that video. I even complimented him by saying, I think their videos are fine. Sniping people, cheating against them, getting their reaction. I think I thought yeah. it was fine. Yeah. I was just clearing up the slurring part. So after that video dropped, they received a good amount of backlash for it too. Which is not like what, what my intention was. I just wanted to clear up my situation with it because people were coming at me over their videos. So I just cleared up that one part that was fake. I don't see how that was a bad way to respond or what else were they saying? They were saying I made a mistake responding and feeding into them. Even though they've made videos on, you know, bigger creators compared to them, I'm not giving them much attention for the moment. Like I didn't really, that's another reason why I made the video. Uh, yeah, after that video dropped, they ended up losing their vape sponsorship and they also received a bunch of negative feedback. Yeah. Which I I wasn't the cause of. I think they were just tired of the controversy. So they dropped them. I don't really know. People thought I did that. Yeah, <laughs> I saw, people I saw thought a lot I, of people. Yeah, they thought I I was the one that caused that. I mean, I didn't have any ties to they that's their own decision. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't have like I don't see how I would I would have caused that. I didn't work with them. Yeah, the argument that people make that I fed into them or I they won because they got my attention. I mean I, I don't know. I should you can say that sure but at the same time I was just trying to like clear up stuff from people that watch me specifically 
And I mean, yeah, I think that's pretty much oh, the all I have to say about that. Down. That's what I wish I could say in in these videos that people make about it. Again, I reiterate this: their content is fine. I, even if it's toxic, like sniping people, cheating against them, trying to get a reaction, that's <laughs> that's a completely chill video to me. But the part that where they come in and start saying, "Oh, the creators did this and that," and, and they they were slurring and I have no evidence about it. Hypixel SS eventually moved on from going after individual streamers. They very soon fixated on a new and upcoming group, a group that was supposedly, at this point in time, the best Bedwars team. They created this image for themselves after they dominated the Hypixel Bedwars 4's tournament. Their group consisted of four individuals, Lovenox, Bombies, Dogcat Watt, and Wolf. But the type of attention they received wasn't all positive, because it caught the eyes of Hypixel SS and very quickly the group became a new target to their snipes. Not only that, but Hypixel SS did some arguably positive things for the community. They exposed Wolf for cheating on an ult within the Hypixel tournament, and even went on to infamously expose Lovenox for faking his hacker series. Just as Hypixel SS's growth was reaching an all-time high, where they were sniping many, many different content creators such as Speculate Potato and Tryhard, they all of a sudden seemed to make a switch. Up until this point, Hypixel SS had only ever used the vape client within their videos, but all of a sudden, this changed drastically. In Hypixel SS's new videos, they were seen using the Rise client, a client made for much more blatant cheating use. They slowly unlisted all their videos and removed vape from them entirely. As Triad mentioned in his interview, many people assumed that he was responsible for Vape possibly deciding to no longer be associated with Hypixel SS. But this was disproved completely, as Tryhard had no connection with Vape client whatsoever. Using this new client, Hypixel SS began targeting other cheaters on the network sniping their games and ruining their stats to get them off the server. Cheaters were being given a run for their money as they attempted to beat Charlie and his group, but they were proved obsolete in comparison to the Rise clan. Around the time the Hypixel SS hit 30,000 subscribers, some people may have noticed that they changed their name. They were now going under the alias of Bedwars SS. This, we found out later, was due to Hypixel choosing to step in and send Hypixel SS a lawsuit, stating that they were not allowed to use Hypixel in their name as it was ruining their brand. Hypixel SS did go on to do some notable feats, such as obtain a win streak of 1800 in Hypixel Bedwars, obviously cheating their way there and eventually getting banned. They also exposed an admin known as Caesar for being corrupt and a moderator known as QTJ. The group also inevitably branched out to other servers such as Mindman Club and Tubnet. However, they only continued cheating on these servers for a short period of time, till the group eventually one by one stopped uploading. While no solid explanation as to why they quit was given, it was likely to focus on college and so on. And with that was the fall of Hypixel SS, one of the most infamous sniper groups to ever exist on Hypixel. Before I end off this video, I would like to give a shout out to Waffles MC and Swoop, as the majority of the information was collected from their videos. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be greatly appreciated if you drop a sub on the channel, as this video has been in the works for a while now. Have an awesome day ladies and gents, and this has been Blasolic with the rise and fall of Hypixel SS.